that's pretty much how I start every walk. You know, if you don't have a really niche hobby or if you didn't grow up here, how do you make friends? You're not, you're certainly not gonna go up to somebody at a bar and say, do you want to be friends? <laughs> Let's be honest, making friends as an adult kind of stinks. It's hard. And that's why one Pittsburgh girl created a new group called the Pittsburgh Girls Who Walk. They're a group of women from all over the area. Some are Pittsburgh born and bred, some just moved here. There's often dogs involved and happy hours and brunch, good conversation, and oh, the walking. There's girls walking all over the streets of Philly. And now the fun's crossing bridges in the Berg. So I did see the girls in Philly having such a good time on their walks, and it kind of dawned on me. There's no reason why we can't do this in Pittsburgh. Margo Kimball got on social media and made it happen. I started a TikTok right away because that's where I found it. I started a meetup, and we now have a website that has schedules of all our events. PGH Girls Who Walk. Dot com is your guide for anything from sing-along happy hours to Sunday strolls to a pool day. I found the group right after I moved to Pittsburgh a year ago. Zoe Reed remembers her anxiety driving to the first group walk. I think I was so nervous driving to my first walk and then as soon as I got there it was just like I felt so welcomed. Everyone was so welcoming, so comforting. It really, I had an instant sense of community. The group's goal is to build a community where women can feel safe walking in Pittsburgh, since a lot of factors play into that these days. Are people walking by themselves at night? Do I see women walking by themselves at night? Can I wear headphones and feel safe? Or, you know, that guy behind me took two of the same turns as me. Is he doing that on purpose? So. I wanted to not only create a sense of community, but take a lot of the stress away from that because there's safety in numbers. Plus, a long walk's a great way to turn strangers into friends. As somebody who's, you know, single and has a little bit more time, it's, it's nice to be able to get out and do things again with a group that feels very safe and comfortable. We have new moms, we have people on the younger side. Um, and we, we have certainly, grandparents. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We have retirees who are like, can you have more walks? I'm free during the week. <laughs> the walk changes location every week. This weekend, they're dodging the geese poop on the North Shore's Riverwalk. No registration, no questions, just show up. It can be really stressful to try to find a community where you truly feel like you fit in, and I feel like that's really what we've built here. So the next walk, Sunday at 10 a.m. They're meeting up in front of the World War II Memorial right across from Stage AE for that stroll along the North Shore. And they're also hosting a ladies poll day for the first week of July in Dormont. So if you want to connect with them, we have the details on our scene on KDKA tab on our homepage.